Okay, panels all sanded, parts all made. Now the fun part, you gotta put it all together. So wood, being wood, it expands and contracts with temperature and moisture. So we have these little rubber spacers so that goes on every corner of the panel. So it's got rubber all the way around it and that'll keep everything centered and keep it from getting loose. Panel's built, just ready to sand up now. We're gonna make the face frame part here. So normally we would just glue these together here in the shop, but we have to assemble these on site. So we're gonna go ahead and pocket hole them, get everything finished up and put it together once we get out of the job site. Uh, so I think we're ready to mock this up here. See if we can get it put together, stood up. It all works, we'll get everything finished handed. Ready to go in spray boots. So we got it all marked out, got our pieces figured, so. figure out how I'm gonna do my shelves in here. I gotta make an L-shaped shelf here and then another L-shape is gonna go over here and this way. So I'll get that figured out. I think we got a plan. We're gonna just do the two sides. We were gonna try to run up the side, but we have to angle it because of the doors anyway. So we're gonna make an L-shaped shelf. Um, and then we don't have to split it here. We can just put it all together. All right, we got these cases all sanded up here. I'm gonna tack in, I'm gonna staple them on from the back side. Sand it up, that crack will glaze that full, so that'll be fine. All right, it's another day in the shop. We're working on this giant built in pantry. So, we've got this panel here, almost four feet wide, eight feet long, close to the biggest we've ever built, probably. So, we've got to cut this to size, grind down the joints, sand it up, and it'll be ready for finishing. And I gotta sand up the rest of the panels and parts for the pantry. Here we go. thousand years later.
so we got install coming up on Monday. So we're gonna get the trailer loaded up, get it ready to go. It's a rustic maple painted white with a black glaze on it. It's kind of a cool color. And then we got some rustic maple stain stuff as well. So. So there it is, it's all in, all loaded, ready to go. We'll be ready for install on Monday.